now, here is Tiki Fullerton on Your Money. An Israeli company with a breakthrough in facial recognition technology. Orcam is currently pioneering wearable technology that assists the blind. Orcam was founded in 2010 by the creators of Mobile Eye, a vision safety company that was acquired by Intel only last year. The My Eye product is a breakthrough device designed to assist vision impaired with reading and facial recognition. It's a tiny camera attached to a pair of glasses that reads and announces text and recognizes people, money, and other objects. Well, for more, your money chief business reporter Leo Shanahan spoke with Orcam's Leon Paul a little earlier. Leon Paul, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, look, I came into contact with Orcan when I was last in Israel, but perhaps tell people uh, what is this product and uh, how it works. Well, Orcan My Eye is a smart wearable camera, a, which is a powered by artificial intelligence and computer vision, which enables people with visual impairments or reading disability to access the world around them. So it can help them read text, recognize people, a products, banknotes, and many other things around them, and lead a more independent life. So I, uh, I was interested in this company because uh, it's, it's founded uh, in Israel, but uh, what, what's its international footprint like, especially in Australia? I understand you've got a, a bit of a presence here now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, we've been, uh, we were founded back in 2010, and we've been developing the product since then uh, uh, with a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of investment behind it. Uh, the product is now available across uh, 28 countries worldwide. Uh, we first of all launched it in its English version in the US, UK, and also in Australia. That was about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've added on additional languages uh, that uh, enable us to sell basically across the world today. What's the uptake been like uh, in the English-speaking world, or indeed globally, uh, outside of Israel? Well, it's been amazing because this is really unique technology. This is bringing the cutting-edge, uh, sophisticated artificial intelligence technology to a segment of the population that don't typically have access to mm. the highest tech. Uh, a, a, these are people with with uh, a disability, people with uh, a with a visual impairment. Um, so the uptake has been absolutely amazing, and we have already tens of thousands of people using a Orcam My Eye around the world. Uh, here in Australia, we started about uh, three years ago, and there are hundreds of people with visual impairments who already have the device and are using it uh, on, on a daily basis. So I was interested in this company as well because it kind of reminded me uh, a bit of uh, an Australian company that's done particularly well in, in, in hearing aids. And two problems they come across is uh, both IP and price point. Uh, and that is, you know, this is a problem both globally in maintaining their intellectual property, but also making, uh, Cochula is the company I'm talking about, uh, making this a competitive uh, product for people uh, outside of, uh, I suppose, uh, necessarily first world countries. Yeah, well, certainly uh, a price uh, a, is is, a de is 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 certainly a, a, a an important point here because a, this is a product which costs about seven thousand Australian dollars, mm. a, which is a similar level to mid range a, a couple of mid range hearing aids. So, uh, a, a, but that is a lot of money for a, yeah. a, for a lot of people to uh, to fork out. But uh, this is where funding mechanisms come into play. And here in Australia, for example, the NDIS yeah. uh, is, uh, is, is such a mechanism that can fund a, a product like Orcam for people who are eligible for it. And what of intellectual property? How do you, how do you defend your IP in, in such a global environment, especially uh, with, frankly, countries like China, who are well known for, uh, for copying IP? Well, obviously, we've got uh, a plenty of patents and uh, a, and, uh, a, and, 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 and trademarks uh, a protected as, as best as we can. But I think it's really about staying ahead of the market and really being on the cutting edge of technology. And at Orcam, we have a very, very large body of uh, research and development personnel who are constantly developing new capabilities, new uh, uh, functions into this device. So really staying ahead of the game. There will always be competition, yeah. but I think we're, we're pretty unique in the marketplace and we're able to maintain that edge for the foreseeable future through the level of investment and work that's going into this product. And what is the company structure? Any plans for an IPO uh, or, or anything like that? 
Um, yeah, well, I, I think uh, our, our CEO has, uh, a, has said publicly that, a, a, that the company will eventually go public. Mm. A, at the moment, we're very focused on developing the, a, the penetration of Orcam in each of the markets in which we're active. So here in Australia, that means reaching out to more and more people who are visually impaired or who have or suffer from low vision or have a, a reading impairment like dyslexia in order to grow our client base a, across the across the market and just generally what do you think it is uh, obviously the, it's one of the big business stories of the world is Israeli tech companies and, and their ongoing success what do you think that it is about Israeli tech that drives this level of success globally well I, I think that the uh, a the concentration of talent that exists in Israel uh, for high tech is is really uh, a, one of the driving uh, uh, forces behind this uh, as, you, as you probably know, and as you saw in Israel, there is a very, very high concentration of Israeli startup uh, mm. uh, technology companies who are really uh, breaking a lot of ground on in new areas of, uh, of technology. And Orcam is, is is definitely one of those. And uh, uh, we're doing we're doing we're really happy with what we're doing uh, in the in the segment of, of computer vision and artificial intelligence. Um, so uh, I think we really do have a unique, uh, a, a unique advantage. Uh, maybe it's down to uh, a Israeli uh, innovativeness and, uh, yeah. and creativity, uh, but um, there's something in the, uh, in the air that is, <laughs> that is driving the innovation. Now, look, let, let's get a, a quick demonstration of the product itself. Sure. Uh, it's, it's quite fascinating to see it in action. Uh, maybe pass me that uh, newspaper there. Uh, we've got today's uh, front page of uh, the Australian business section here. Uh, we've got... Uh, well, city apartment uh, sales falling flat is a uh, predictably Sydney uh, or New Australian headline. Let's uh, see what the product does with that, with that kind of headline. Right. Well, I, this is the Orcam My Eye, and I just put it onto any pair of glasses and, and wear it just as I would a, any, other, uh, a, any other pair of glasses. And the camera in Orcam My Eye is seeing what's in front of me. So all I need to do is just hold up this newspaper a, in front of me and just face it so a, and point towards what I want it to read. Commercial property. And it... It read the headline commercial yep. property, and I can point a little bit further down to this article. It's reading the article across here. Fantastic. Okay. And in order to stop it, I can just stop it with a gesture. So it's recognizing yeah. simple human gestures like pointing and stop. A, and reading the text that it sees in front of it. Orcam's Leon Paul there talking to Leo Shanahan.